Hey guys, want to give you a little update. I want to show you something that we produced this year right over here. This is a striped jungle, possibly hit for albino boa constrictor that we produced this year here. And um, I decided to hold this one back. Now this one here is not completely fully striped. You can see a little bit here um, on the back there is some zigzag kind of motley type stuff going on and the tail here though is really really striped there's yellow stripes down the side there's the red stripe in the back and then the uh, beautiful red pyramid uh, colors going on down here at the belly just a gorgeous animal this is a female and uh, we're going to raise her up and um, see what she can do and then a couple other boas that we've got that are holdbacks from this year is this full stripe boa constrictor as you can see the stripe runs from the head all the way down to almost the tip of the tail um, and uh, this is just a absolutely gorgeous gorgeous animal um, one of our boas that we're holding back and uh, also, I'll show you something else around here real quick. We have uh, in this rack here, we have some really nice boas. Here's one right here. Um, this is actually not a holdback boa. This is a uh, one that we've had for sale. But we're, we're kind of getting to the point now where we're thinking about maybe we should hold back a couple more. Um, for example, this beautiful jungle male right here. Um, just absolutely gorgeous. And then I'll show you a couple of females over here. Here is a, I'm not even sure what's going on here um, with this boa. But this is just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we know it's a salmon, um, quite possibly and quite probably a jungle. Um, just beautiful, beautiful colors. I, I hope that the camera is actually doing this animal justice. Um, it's, uh, I don't know if I can see if I can get it back in the rack here. There we go. And then I'll show you another one here. Actually, she's in shed, so her colors won't be that vibrant, but just a beautiful, beautiful boa constrictor here. Um, and of course, we have uh, this male here that is also really, really pretty. And while we're updating you on our boas, I'll take you in here to our big breeder cage and show you some of what's going on in here. Now this is a big room size cage. It's got double doors and uh, we'll unlock it and go in. And uh, here are our two gravid females. Of course they're basking, which gravid females do uh, quite a lot. You can see by the girth on this animal here. She is, she is a double hit for snow and um, really, really sweet animal. Now. A lot of times we've noticed that when female boas are gravid, they become very, very aggressive. I've got the camera merely inches from her face, and you see there's no, uh, there's no aggression at all out of her. She's really sweet. Um, we also have basking up here with her is a salmon female, a large salmon female. I say large. Salmons, uh, our salmon line doesn't get very big. This female here probably... Uh, doesn't even reach five feet in length. Um, she may, she may, if she's five feet, it's probably just barely. Um, but she is gravid. She's carrying babies. The uh, father of hers is also a small salmon. He's only about four foot long, even though he's full grown. And um, we expect this clutch from the bigger female here, this one right here, we expect her clutch. Um, on the 4th of July actually and uh, we're not really sure I uh, didn't catch the post ovulation shed on the salmon boa so we're not exactly sure when she's gonna have 
her babies, but um, there are some signs that we look for. We'll move them out of this cage and into a smaller maternal cage, uh, give them a little more privacy and allow them to have their clutches. Anyway, we appreciate you guys watching Cold Blood Creations. Hey guys, Anna here from Cold Blood Creations. Today we are expecting um, a litter of baby boa constrictors. And here's the female right here. She is loaded with babies right now. So, um, how, uh, how much longer do you think she's got before she's going to have this litter? Well, her due day was three days ago. So, she looks like the babies are right into her tail. So, pretty soon. Yeah, you can look at her and tell she's really swollen. And uh, so, guys, we'll keep you informed on this litter. Hopefully, we'll uh, be able to come in here and take a few shots when she's actually given birth. And uh, we don't really know what we're going to have here. The, um, the possibilities are that she bred with a salmon jungle male. And um, the other possibility is that she bred for, with a hit for albino and hit for anery, which would be double hit for snow. She's also a double hit for snow. So if she bred with our double hit for snow male, then we should have some albinos, some anaries, and we should have um, some snows. Uh, if she bred with our hypo jungle, then we should have some hypos and some jungles and some hypo jungles. So we'll have to wait and see. We, we're not 100% sure which male. We did place her with two. So uh, what do you think, Anna? What do you think we're going to get? I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. Just yeah. have to wait and see. It's like Christmas around here. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll let you know what presents we get here shortly. We uh, woke up this morning having a cup of coffee, came out here to the snake building. Now we told you we've been anticipating the birth of our baby boas. And uh, we come out here this morning to take a look in this cage right here. And our female looks a lot skinnier than she did when we went to bed last night. But if you look in this cage, you see why there's probably 30. 25, maybe 30 baby boas in here. And um, the mother's looking like she's going to be pretty protective there. So we're going to have to separate her before we remove the babies. Fine. <laughs> so uh, if y'all want to back up just a little bit, we will get her separated out. Let me keep filming. Let me, uh, those of you who have never worked with boas before, uh, female boas can be quite aggressive when they have just had babies. So, Aubrey, how about grab us a top off of that over there? Let me see if we can get her out of here. Y'all, be careful now. Still. All right, so we got her separated, the and uh, we're going to get these babies separated, get them cleaned up a little bit, and then we'll t share with you what we've got. Guys, we're fixing to separate these baby boas, and um, we're going to separate them according to what they are. And our first one right here that we're removing, this is a beautiful little normal uh, baby boa. And we're going to take and dip him down in some water here, just wash him off a little bit. And then he will go over here into a cage so he can absorb the yolk sac. And uh, this is a pretty little normal. Now I want to show you something else here. This is a what's called a salmon boa. Um, you can tell by the salmony color. And um, we're going to dip him down. A little bit of water here. Wash him off. And then we're going to put him on this side. And allow him to absorb the yolk sac. Now you can see they 
still have a little bit of blood from the birthing but um we'll get all these separated here and we'll let you know what we have we uh, i haven't seen a jungle yet i'm sure there's some jungles in here and let's see let's see real quick if we can find the jungle um right here here's a salmon jungle and this one is a salmon jungle because the color salmon and the pattern is jungle that's actually a beautiful example of a jungle boa so we'll finish separating these up and we'll let you guys know what we have in a If the South would have won, we'd have had it made. I'd probably run for president of the Southern state. The day Elvis passed away would be our national holiday.